friends, welcome to a new lesson. Do you like to talk about people? Well, I like to talk about people, but I like to talk about people's nature. Yes, so we often try to describe people and their nature and their behavior, but we run out of words like, um, you know, we use basic words like he's nice, good, you know, he's smart or he speaks well or he speaks too much. Yes, in today's lesson, let's take a look at some common expressions that we could use when we describe people's nature. Now, the first one I have here is easygoing. Now, what do you mean by easygoing? Easygoing means a person is very relaxed and calm, okay? So, when you go up and talk to the person, he's relaxed, he's calm, he has no hang-ups, no ego issues, yeah? So, he's easygoing. Now, for example, if I have to put this in a sentence, I'm going to tell you, my boss is easygoing. And I say it because he is such a nice person that I can go up and tell him anything, probably all the mistakes that I've made at work, yeah? And he's very calm and relaxed. He's very approachable. So, my boss is easygoing. Now, sometimes when you are scared of someone or you don't feel too comfortable talking to someone, that means that person is not easygoing. So you could also say, I don't feel like talking to him or confiding in him because he's not easygoing, right? So easygoing means someone who's calm and relaxed and easy to talk to. Okay, now the next type of uh, person is broad-minded. Broad-minded. A broad-minded person is someone who is open to ideas, new thoughts, uh, probably accept a new culture, a new trend. Yes. Um, for example, I must share this with you. My grandfather, he's 90 years old, totally from a different generation, probably two generations before me. But he's very broad-minded because he is, you know, he kind of accepts live-in relationship, the culture of live-in relationships. He has, uh, you know, he kind of does not uh, degrade it or look down upon that culture. So, it is so that he is broad-minded because he is open to accepting a new culture. He does understand the younger generation. So, when someone is broad-minded, you could always say, my friend is very broad-minded. She is open to, you know, humor or open to, um, you know, us making fun of her. She doesn't take it to heart. So, broad-minded means accepting new ideas, thoughts, culture, behavior, attitude. Well, the next one is self-effacing. Now, self-effacing is a person who doesn't like to get attention. It could be, um, you know, probably get praised, doesn't like getting praised for his skills, for his talents. Yes, so I have a colleague at work and he is a great presenter. He really presents well, he makes good presentations. But after that, we kind of don't find him anywhere. Um, you know, he's always in this corner. Uh, you know, hoping not to get noticed and hoping not to get praised because he's self-effacing. His name is John. So, I'm going to tell you, John is a self-effacing guy. That means he doesn't like to get attention. He doesn't like to get praised for his work. Yes, so remember self-effacing people are the ones who just do not like getting attention. The next one is self-centered, exactly the opposite of self-effacing. A self-centered person is someone who only thinks about himself. All that he can think of is I, me, myself. Every decision, every action, everything that he does is only based um, you know, on him and it, the whole world revolves around him. So, well, it's difficult to deal with such people. Now, I have a friend of mine and whenever we plan to go out as a group, she's the one who always decides 
uh, you know, where we should go and uh, what we should eat and uh, which party we should attend and which restaurant we should dine at. It's all about her. She doesn't bother asking any of us where we want to go or what we want to do. That is because my friend Maria is a self-centered girl. The world revolves only around her. So yes, we do have such people who are self-centered, who only think about themselves, their benefit, their likes and their dislikes. Yes, friends, the next one is two-faced. Now, this is very common. Two-faced means not a, literally a person with two faces. It actually means a person has two different behaviors. So, with one person, he will show one side or probably probably be very sweet. And with another person, he'll have a different, like a different, extremely different behavior. Yeah. So, when people are two-faced, it is often so that they are not honest. They're not sincere. And you need to be careful of such people because um, probably they just kind of uh, betray you. You know, you may feel a bit betrayed. But, um, well, again, a very common uh, nature of a person. So I have a friend called John, okay. And, uh, well, he's a very sweet guy. But, you know, in our group, he's someone who will go and tell my friend Maria something. And he'll come and tell me something else. And when Maria and I happen to talk, we realize that he's two-faced. He has two different, not faces exactly, but he has two different behaviors with two different set of people. So, well, we do feel he's a bit dishonest. He is not really sincere. Okay, friends. The next one, thick skin. Well, this is one of my favorite personality or, uh, you know, a, a favorite nature. Thick skinned is someone who just does not get affected by anything. I mean, can you imagine you crack a joke, um, you pull a fast one, you kind of uh, taunt the person, you be sarcastic, you shout, you yell and he remains unaffected. I mean, imagine such people just are so numb. They don't feel anything. Well, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I think people who are thick skinned are lucky because, I mean, they really don't get hurt whatsoever. So, well, this is kind of not exactly your skin being thick, but yeah, it is a way of saying thick skinned is someone who does not get affected. Well, now I'm going to tell you my friend Lara. Lara is a wonderful girl. So, but you know, she's so thick skinned, she's always late. Okay, when we meet, she's always late. No matter how much you taunt her, you tease her, you're sarcastic, nothing affects her. Okay, that's because Lara is a thick-skinned girl. And believe me, she's always late. Yes, so thick-skinned people are people who just do not get affected by anything. The next one is eccentric. Now, eccentric people are little unconventional. Well, sometimes we do find them weird or strange. So, um, say for example, you're at a party and uh, you find someone who is little, you know, behaving a little weirdly, the way he talks, the way he walks, um, you know, the way he interacts with people, and you feel he is just not conventional. Like, there's something just not right, okay? It's a little weird, their behavior. And uh, we call them eccentric because they are strange or weird. This is something that is just not right. All right, so I'm going to tell you this. Last night I was at a party and uh, I happened to get into introduced to this guy called Kevin. And uh, well, he was a very good looking guy, but you know, eventually I realized that he was eccentric because the way he would behave and talk with people around was really weird. So when you have these weird and strangely behaving people, they are eccentric people. Well, the next one, loudmouthed, you find them all over the place. Loudmouthed people are people who talk a lot 
I really don't know where they get the energy from, but they just talk and continue to talk. And sometimes they talk offensively. So they can say things that are pretty offensive. Now I have a colleague of mine who sits just probably the next day. I can hear every word that she speaks over the phone. Yeah, and it is pretty annoying because I don't need to know and I don't want to know what she speaks. And more often than not, she's pretty nasty and uh, says pretty offensive things. So, well, in my office, I have a colleague named Samantha, and Samantha is loud-mouthed, so much so that I get a headache sometimes. Yes, the next one is opinionated. From the word opinion. Now, opinionated people are people who have very strong opinions. They don't think twice before they put down their opinions. Um, they are very strong opinions. They are rigid and do not change their opinions. My manager is one of them. So if there is an issue in office, he will always come out with a very strong opinion and a rigid one too and just does not budge from his opinion. So for everything that happens, be it a soccer match to politics or to um, a film that is in controversy, my manager is an opinion, opinionated person. Okay, that means he is full of strong opinions. Yes, and the last one is scatterbrained. Scatterbrain is someone who keeps forgetting things, okay? So my little sister is scatterbrain because she always forgets to put her books in a bag. She always forgets to carry her breakfast. And every day she has to forget something. So well, I actually tell her, Mary, you are scatterbrained, okay? It's time you get out of this and be responsible and carry your stuff to work, fine? So. Scatterbrain is someone who keeps forgetting. It's just a little slang way of saying uh, you're scatterbrain. That means you're a person who keeps forgetting things. So if you have an absent-minded person, remember they are scatterbrain. Well, friends, so these are the common expressions that you could use to talk about people's nature. I hope you enjoyed watching this lesson. Go ahead and talk about people's nature using these common expressions. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care and bye.